Hey everyone, welcome to WA 4x4. Today we're going to be checking out the Coastals Trail, which runs from the wind farm right the way through to Mutton Bird Beach. It's about 15 minutes outside of Albany, and with me today I've got Dylan in his Isuzu D-Max, and me and my forward Maverick. We've also got Raymond here behind the camera. Let's get started. G'day Dylan. Mate, how you going? Doing well mate, good to see you again. Thanks for coming out here with uh, me today. Always mate, it's good to be out. Yeah, now look, are you going to be letting your tyres down for this one? It has been pretty wet out here. Uh, yeah, the track will be nice and hard. I am going to let them down a bit. It just cuts the track off a bit less, keeps it nice and neat and tidy for everyone else on the way through. Good stuff, good stuff. Look, I'm going to go and do the same now and without further ado, let's just crack straight into it, shall Easy, we? Easy, let's go. Let's do it. Depending on the track you're doing, letting down your tyres is an essential part of four-wheel driving. It increases the amount of traction you get on soft surfaces like mud or sand, making the drive a lot smoother and easier on your car. Having lower tyre pressure also means you don't have to push your car as hard, meaning that you're not chopping up the track for other people when they come through. Coastals is what we would call a beginner's track. With not a lot of technical sections and mostly hard sand, this track is perfect for any stock vehicle or beginner four-wheel drivers. Now my car uses manual hubs, which need to be engaged before I can use the four-wheel drive function on my car. From here I can put my car into either high or low range depending on the terrain I'm facing. Dylan's D-Max is a lot more modern and has auto locking hubs instead of manual. All he needs to do is select either high or low range on the selector and wait for the car to do the rest. While we were setting up, we even had a few locals come out to do the track. With our cars ready to go, let's get into it. Coastals is a well-known four-wheel drive track for the locals of Albany. It's normally an easy drive and takes roughly an hour or so to complete depending on how fast you go. It provides amazing views of the cliffs and ocean while driving and is close enough to town to fill out an afternoon four-wheel driving with little effort on the track itself. Dylan and I have completed this track many times, and after having a week of rain, the sand is very hard and makes for easy driving. Everyone from four-wheel drivers to motorbike and horse riders come out here for a bit of fun, as the track has plenty of sights to offer before you reach the beach. It's getting late in the afternoon, so Dylan and I are headed towards the lookout, which is closer towards the Mutton Bird Beach end of the track, to get some nice photos of the sunset. The Coastals track has many different starting points. The track we are on connects to the service road that runs between each of the windmills at Albany. This marks the first section of Coastals completed, and we have to get moving if we want to get to the lookout before dark.
The end section of coastals runs behind one of the local firing ranges. If the flags are up, it's best you don't pass this way, and there is an exit available to Mutton Bird Beach Road down on the right. We are now just around the corner from the lookout, and with the sun directly in front of us, it's essential you pack sunnies. Guys, this is the Coastal's lookout, so it's about three quarters of the way down the track. We're really just a stone's throw from Mutton Bird Beach at this point, but you just can't get better than that view up this way. It's just so good for a local track to be so close to town and have this sort of view. And on the back side of the camera is just all the ocean from there. So look, we'll continue on, I reckon, Dylan. We'll just keep moving. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, definitely recommend checking out this spot. Time to get to Muttonbird so we can finish up and get back to where we'd rather not be.
Hey everyone, if you made it this far in the video, we just want to say a huge thank you. A lot of effort went into this, but we had heaps of fun making it. If you would like to see these types of videos and more, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications and keep an eye out for that next video. And a massive shout out to both Raymond and Dylan for helping me record this video. Without their support and patience, this project couldn't have happened. Now stay tuned for some behind the scenes outtakes and general stuff ups from us. Enjoy! Didn't even make it up to the hill! G'day everyone, welcome to WA 4x5. Wait, <laughs> I forgot the name! <laughs> G'day everyone, welcome to 4x4. I forgot the name again, it's WA 4x3. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is how blues can start one stupid thing and then you can't get the next seven tape drives. No. <laughs> <laughs> His wheel's just spinning! G'day <sighs> Dylan, good to see you again. F**k's <laughs> 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 sake, I'm just... When he cuts the track up a bit less, better for everyone. No, now your back wheel's spinning. G'day Dylan. Mate, there you go. Good to see you again mate, I'm doing well. Oh, dickhead. It's a nice shot, just the sunrise just going down. Yeah, the sunrise just going down. Looks like the sun is right there. Yeah. Like it's all just... No, I, I want to backtrack to what you said about the sunrise just going down. To show that it was a whole afternoon's yeah, the, the sunrise just going down. Trying to figure out how to use a tripod. 